here today than we've had in the past too so bear with us uh, of course the hard act to follow and Eddie he put on a pretty good presentation um, just a, a note with trucking I was at a DOT seminar put on by Liberty Mutual a couple of weeks ago and this was interesting to me and probably all of you truckers or owners know this and, and uh, realize it but they told us that statistics show that Four out of tr uh, five accidents involving autos and tractor, tractor trailers, the accident was caused by the auto and not the truck. So, you know, you should be commended that you're that good of drivers or you employ that good of drivers. As many of you know, since many of you have been in the industry for many years, uh, logging is a, is a very are one of the most hazardous industries there is. Some statistics show it's 30 times more hazardous than an industry, a manufacturing industry. But as we go through uh, what we've already seen so far and as we go forward, one of the things that I would like to uh, make as a theme of what I'm showing you is safely home everyone every day you know if we live by that then we've done a good job in safety and I'm going to give you a few statistics just to let you know and I'm sure most of you know a lot of this and it's not real current there's not a lot of real current information out there but between 1980 and 89 there were 6,400 U.S. workers died in industry-related work. Of those, 1,492 were logging-related deaths. So that's a fatality rate of 23 times greater for loggers than any other industry. Injury-wise, logging industry had 1,400 uh, four injuries per 100,000 workers compared to only 8,000 per 100,000 workers for other industries. So you can see that logging is a very dangerous occupation. And information from 92 to 99, there was a slight drop in deaths down to about 124 average per year in the logging woods. Of that, 67% was from falling objects, 14% from contact with equipment, 2% was chainsaw related, 4% was log truck or vehicle related, and miscellaneous 13%. There was a study done in 98, 1998, showing uh, job related industries and how they broke down percentage wise. At that time, uh, 8.9% was from mounting and dismounting vehicles, 6.9% from felling, 18.8% from maintenance and repair, 14.5% from operating, and 23.8% from topping and delimiting. Of course, we know that, and I'll show a little later, uh, in the last few years when logging fueling has gone more mechanized, those numbers have changed. But in 2008, in the U.S., there was 86,000 workers in the logging industry. There's 93 deaths, which is 30 times higher than any other industry. What's uh, something you should be proud of and is amazing to me, as was said earlier, there was only three deaths in region six which we are part of east texas area i think we've done a real good job we 
we don't cons contribute to these statistics as much as a lot of other areas of the country. So safety-wise, for the most part, you're doing a good job. There was a study in Virginia, like I mentioned, about mechanized. And between 95 and 2000, there was 11 logging companies in the Virginia area that were studied. They studied them for two and a half years before mechanized tree felling and then two years afterward. And basically, there's no change in employees. Before the mechanized tree felling, there was 19.4 injuries per 100 workers. After, there was only 5.2 per 100 workers. So as we modernize the way we do logging, we're making it safer. And I'm sure you know that from your insurance rates. If you're mechanized, your insurance rates are a lot less if you're still using chainsaws to cut trees. And it was mentioned earlier in the earlier presentation about what it costs you or what it costs the employer and the, and the employee for, uh, for injuries. Another reason we need to try to be safe. 64% uh, of the logging industry injuries cost under $5,000. 23% have a total cost of between $5,000 and $20,000. And there's only 12% that are cost over $20,000. Just to let you know what, what it costs, not in money necessarily, but in, in everything, what an employee pays for being injured. Uh, an employee, what it costs them is lost wages, could cost them doctor bills, hospital bills, physical pain and suffering, mental anguish, loss of uh, time with family and friends, loss of productivity on and off the job, and relationship strains. You know, so being safe at work for the employee and the employer has benefits. The employer could be, some of the things that they would pay for would be medical bills and workers' compensation claims, legal costs, insurance costs, property damage costs, wages being paid for sub-workers, loss of valued employee, loss of productivity, possibility of replacing a lost worker, hiring and training a new employee, damage to equipment and tools, time to take, the time it takes to handle the injury claim, and decrease employee morale over the loss of an employee. So it pays to be safe. And in the logging industry, as in most other industries, 80% of all forestry-related accidents are caused by human factors. You know, that could be including health, judgment, skill, and experience. And this is what we call the X factor. 